Have you wondered how you can create beautiful eye-catching wallpaper designs for any device screen and sell them on marketplaces such as Envato or Creative Market and generate a passive income? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how by using simple shapes and gradients, a very simple technique. We're going to be using Glorify, which is a free design tool on the cloud. So if you don't have an account now, go ahead to glorify.com and sign up, get your account and come back to this video and follow along with me. Let's jump in. So once you're on your dashboard on Glorify, just go ahead and hit create design on the left menu and choose phone size. So we're going to start with the phone size in this case, and we'll go ahead and open a canvas in the size that you selected, which is in this case, the mobile phone device. We're going to do a very simple technique of using the shapes on the left tool panel, select circle. And if I simply scale the shape, it'll lock the ratio. However, I hold shift, you can unlock the ratio and you can create any size you want. In this case, I want it to be locked. We'll go ahead and add the shape to my canvas position in the center. I'll then go ahead to my color palette on the right hand side in the edit panel to edit the color. I'll choose gradient. I'll go ahead with radial gradient. I want to choose some beautiful colors for this gradient over here. So here's the gray, which I selected on canvas directly. I can click on this palette here. Or I can click it on the gradient tool itself. We'll go ahead and pick a bright, vibrant blue. And on the second gradient color, we're going to choose a purple and try to make it a bit more um, fruity. There we go. Um, so I'm happy with that. Now I'll go ahead and hit on my keyboard Command D or if you're on Windows, Control D and duplicate it. We'll hold, we'll now hold Alt on my keyboard so we can lock it to scale from center. And we're gonna scale it slightly down. I'm gonna do this, repeat this process a few times, center it up with a set of shapes, hold Alt on my keyboard and scale it down. And again, and duplicate it again, hold Alt and scale it down. So we've got this really cool, vibrant, deep kind of effect with these simple shapes and gradients, right? Um, now we can go ahead and right click all these shapes and group it together so don't wanna lose control of it. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it and we're gonna rearrange these shapes in different sizes. So, sizes. so we'll go ahead and scale this a bit larger. We'll go ahead and put this at the bottom. Uh, I'll go to my layers panel and drop it all the way to the bottom, this one. And we'll do another version at the top. And that looks pretty cool. Now, I want a background for this uh, wallpaper. So we'll go ahead and pick a matching background. So I've got my default colors that I've selected over here at the bottom. Uh, I've got the purple as well. This looks kind of cool as well. It does quite have a nice effect. However, I want it to contrast with the other shapes. So let's see if we can go a little bit lighter perhaps. In fact, we can add another gradient and maybe we could make this a linear gradient. And uh, so we've got the linear gradient over here. So we can choose a lighter color for the top part and a more vibrant color at the bottom. There you go, I'm really happy with that. So we got a linear grade in the background and we're good. So there's our first wallpaper. Now, I wanna be able to scale this and create many variations. So a very simple way to do that is go ahead and choose the canvas icon on the left hand side tool panel. It will prompt you to go into an infinite canvas mode, which essentially removes this kind of single canvas mo mode and allows you to create a second canvas. We don't wanna actually create a second canvas. We wanna just take this canvas and hit Command D to duplicate it a couple of times. And you can create different variations where you move these things in different locations, for example. Um, you can try one with a much larger scale and a few tiny ones. So you can have as many variations as you like. Quickly create these variations to see you know, which one sticks and which one looks better. do one with really tiny variations so something like that and once you're done let's do like one with just a single version so that could be interesting just one big variation there we go um, so once you're done we can go ahead and duplicate these and create even more with different color variations and how we're gonna mix up the colors is very simple select all of them go to our add manual assets panel on the left 
I'm gonna move my head over here and scroll down to tools and go to color parts. From color parts, we can go choose a different style like pop and try this pop effect. You can see these beautiful style instantly gets applied and you can see how this uh, effect looks. So likewise, we can do the same thing over and over again. Let's try another set. Colors like this purple. This one's interesting. Try another one. One more. Techie color palette. Try monochromatic one. There we go. So we got a range of wallpapers just like that by duplicating it, rearranging it on the infinite canvas and remixing the color palettes. Use the color palettes tool to apply colors uh, to any of your canvases and all the shapes within it. So it's really that simple, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do subscribe to our channel for more future videos that are soon to come. I've listed a few other videos that I recommend that you can take a look at that I most likely you'd find very interesting. That's it for now. I'll see you in a future video. Take care. Bye.